Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the forecast for this upcoming full moon that's occurring on July 21st, 2024. I'm going to break it down for each life path number and see what the energies have in store. Before we get into that, this is a general forecast. If you would like a personalized forecast or numerology reading for your own numerology and your own energies, please book some time with me. I would love to work with you. My information is in the description box below. Also, if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that the algorithm knows to promote this little channel and help it to grow. Really appreciate your support and thank you so much for being here. All right, let's take a look. Life path number four, well, we are going to be working with some massive energy under this uh, illumination. We're going to be working with the energy of the 22-4. So of course, the four energy being our own energy, but we've also got that 22 influence. And so anytime the 22 comes through in a cycle, this is huge. This is huge. This can bring about, you know, just, gosh, dreams coming true, your efforts paying off in a huge way, seeing a huge return of investment. Like I don't want to build it up too big, right? Because I don't want to get everybody's hopes up because we're at the end of the day, we're still fours, right? We have to put in the effort to see that return of investment. But you know, and with the four energy, everything is in direct proportion to the effort put forth. So just putting that out there. But if you've been really just putting in a tremendous amount of effort, you know, showing up, doing your due diligence, like persevering, this could be an illumination that really just, you know, brings it home in a big way. And there can be a tremendous amount of satisfaction with that energy. So be on the lookout for that. And, and I know that's going to feel good. I know that's going to feel good for fours. So, you know, under this illumination, though, this is a great time to achieve your goal. And it's interesting, too, because this is a Capricorn full moon in astrology. So very much aligned with many of these themes. And really, the four is very much aligned with Capricorn type of energy. So, you know, truly, this is a four energy type of moon. Okay. So big energy, but uh, this would be a time for reaching goals, right? For fulfillment, for your secret desires becoming a reality now. But in all of this, remember you've done the work, right? So don't lose sight of that. Things might seem to fall into your lap now that you just can't even imagine, but you've been doing the work. You've been showing up. You've been, you know, doing what's needed to get there. So don't, uh, don't minimize your contribution is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you could see success on a huge scale and attainment of those seemingly impossible dreams. Uh, everything is possible at this time. So this is definitely one of those times when fours really want to sort of think big, to make those big plans, to, you know, dare to take a risk and go out on a limb because you will likely see the rewards come in now exponentially. Uh, again, com things coming to fruition. And again, it's a full moon. So coming to cl culmination, seeing the fruits of the labor type of thing. Very, very, very possible now under this. Uh, I would also say that you could find that physical travel comes into the, the equation. It could be work-related where you actually have to physically travel somewhere. And I would say... Um, go for it if you have the opportunity to do that, because I think it's going to play into the success of whatever this is, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So be open to that. Be open to new concepts, new way of doing things, new perspectives. I think that that's really going to help you to not only achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, but maintain that fulfillment, right? Definitely, this is a time to throw caution to the wind, which I know it can be hard for four sometimes, but think in these large sweeping terms, right? Um, you know, go to the head person with your creative ideas, you know, put yourself on a, on a limb, um, see what is a limitation for you, and then reach out to the people who have the strengths in those areas, because you might be surprised at who accepts your proposal now. Um, just a big opportunity for the doors opening, right? Where it's like, usually we have to, you know, continue to knock and persuade and try to, you know, prove ourselves to get through the door. This could be a time where you simply have to ask and that door opens up for you. You just don't know. You'll certainly know if you, if you know, if you don't do it, if you don't take the chance, if you don't ask, then of course the answer is going to be no. So this is going to be a time to put yourself out there, be vulnerable, ask for what you need, recognize your limitations and ask for the help that you need. And you could likely see it fall completely in your lap. Um, yeah, so I would say this could also be a time for promotions, right? If there's been something where you are 
but you've been really working towards something. You're the expert in this area. You could see you get the nod now to take that over and, you know, to back up what it is that you already know to be true about yourself, to show the world what you're capable of. This could definitely be a great time for that to occur. A lot of times when we move through a 22-4 cycle, things can really pick up. It can feel like we have a lot of plates in the air that we're trying to keep sort of moving, right? Um, so just remember, take on what you feel comfortable taking on, right? Where is it that you're, it's going to help you move in the direction of that you want to be moving into that actually highlights your expertise that allows you to shine. Those are the plates you want to have in the air, not the ones where you're trying to prove yourself to someone who doesn't want to see your value or your worth, right? Um, yeah, I would definitely say this is, this can be a really tense period, a really fast paced moving energy, um, where you'll sort of be dealing with groups of large populations or, you know, different groups where you're going to kind of have to be the leader in making sure that everything flows, everything kind of, um, moves at a, a uh, an appropriate pace. You would definitely say, be careful of trying to be in too much control, right? Because that's going to drive you, um, bonkers. So, you know, just come back to yourself, be gentle with yourself. Don't go to extremes, you know, surrender to what you don't have control over, you know, um, commit to what you do and you will see just great rewards or you have the potential to see great rewards under this energy. Um, yeah. So definitely follow your intuition at this time. You know what feels right for you. Say yes to that. You know what doesn't feel right for you or you know what feels a little bit off. Say no to that. And yeah, this has the this has the potential to be a very powerful, rewarding material period. So great rewards financially, uh, resources, support from higher ups, etc. So big energy force, love it for us. Take care. Bye for now.